guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see this is a totally different video it's gonna be a halloween tutorial it might be the only one i make i'll try to do another one for you guys but i wanted to create um this look i'll show you guys what it was inspired by kind of see it so is that look right there i hope you guys could kind of see it want to know how to get this look right here you know this casual look that you wear any day <laughs> i'm just playing just keep on watching okay guys so let's get started i already did half of my face almost full done just so we could make this process a little bit faster and it's going to be the same thing i do on the other side by the way the foundation that i use is a lighter foundation that i have for my skin tone i didn't really want it to be white so it's just a lighter foundation and then I set it with a lot of translucent powder just because I want it to be really matte. So I'm going to be using this brush. It's from Sigma. It's an eyeliner brush. It's really small and pointy and that's why I like it. And I'm going to be grabbing this black paint. Um, any paint you guys could use as long as it's just black. So I'm going to start with my forehead. I'm going to be doing this little detail. I honestly don't know what it's called. But I'm mainly going to show you guys more what I'm doing than actually telling you because I feel it's better when it when this looks, it's better to just watch than me tell you guys. But I'll let you know like here things and there what why I'm doing that. So now I'm switching to a pencil brush. All of the brushes I'm going to be using mostly are from Morphe and I'm just grabbing that black paint and I'm starting to do shading on the outside corners of this little detail on my forehead. So I'm going to be using my Morphe 35C palette and I'm going to grab this really black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it wherever I put black paint. Um, you're going to set it with eyeshadow that way it won't look shiny it will last longer. So I'm going to be using these three browns. One is like a cool tone, one is a little bit orangey, one is more brown. And I'm going to be applying it also in that little detail. I'm going to be doing shading. Now I'm going to be using this flat angle brush, it's kind of like an eyeliner brush. Um, and then I'm going to start putting a little bit of black right here. This is just the design that I'm just putting. Um, because like I said, I'm going reference on the picture that I show you guys. And then I'm just trying to put whatever I think also will go good with my face. Uh, my face actually is not that big, so I have to work with the space that I have. At the end of the brush that I show you guys, it has this side that is like an eyeshadow brush, um, really small and flat. And this one is perfect to um, just do like little designs on your face, especially if your face is not that big or if your forehead is not that big. So now I'm just like making this design right here. It kind of reminds me of horn. And then after that, I'm also going to grab once again um, the three brown shadows. And I'm going to blend that line with that so it makes it look a little bit more blended, more in-depth. And I'm using this blending brush for a Morphe. With the black eyeshadow, I'm just going to start doing my eyebrows. And you guys could do however you guys want to do your eyebrows. I mainly did it almost the same shape that I always do. Just in the front, I started kind of trying to do like the strokes so it looks kind of like um, hair. But you can't really tell in the video. So for my eyes, I'm just going to be doing a regular cut crease. So if you guys already know how to do one, just do the same one. And I'm just doing it with black eyeshadow and with this little detail brush. In the inner corner of my eye, I'm just applying more black eyeshadow. To blend the black eyeshadow, I'm just using my blending brush with the three brown colors that I used before. So for the pigment, I'm using this one from Sugar Pill. It's called Goldie Lux. And I'm using this uh, glue glitter. And this one's from Shop Violet Boss. And I'm just going to be applying it all over my lid. So right here, I'm just applying more black and then I'm also going to apply those three brown colors 
Yeah, I'm just kind of making like the hollow of my under eyes, which is good because I mean I have the biggest under eyes ever. And with the same pigment, I go back on the little designs that I have on the top and I just start applying a little bit there. So now moving on to my face, um, I'm going to be doing this lines, which is kind of like forming the mouth on my face. And then I start slowly. I don't have a lot of paint on my brush just because I want to map it out first and see how big I want it. So yeah, I'm just going to start doing the signs here um, on my cheeks. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, so I'm just going to let you guys watch. So now with the same black paint, I'm going to start shading inside where it's, um, it's going to go, where it's going to be my mouth. So that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back with black eyeshadow and also to set everything just because, like I said, Wherever you guys put a paint, you have to set it. If not, it's not going to last you long and it's going to look like really shiny. After I apply the black eyeshadow to make it more in-depth, I go back with um, the three browns that I showed you guys. And then I just start applying that also in the center of where my mouth is. So here I'm just putting a little bit more of the signs. Um, my camera actually did die after this. So you guys are going to see now that I have white paint in the middle of that line. And then after that I'm just going to be doing the same thing with the brown eyeshadows. I'm just going to start shading that just to make it more depth. So now we're going to start with the teeth and I'm going to be using this brush, this is from um, Sephora. I'm forming them with the white paint and after that I am going to be doing a little bit of shading with the black paint just so they could stand out a little bit more. Oh, is it what do you see? As you twist the tiles beneath our feet What do you see? And then I'm gonna be using the same glue and the same pigment and I'm just gonna be putting it on top of the white Just so it could stand out a little bit more And now I'm just going to start creating my nose and you guys can do however you guys want to do your nose. I'm just mainly doing it almost based on the picture that I have. So I'm just designing it like this and I'm just going to shade it with the black paint and then after with the black eyeshadow. So now moving on to my neck and I started using the stink pigment. I'm just applying that all over my neck. But I feel like it doesn't really stand out so after I do apply glitter at the end, I didn't show you guys in video, I'm sorry. Um, and I also grabbed that pigment and I started applying it like a little bit on top of my cheekbones just because I wanted to more to stand out. Then I came up with this idea to put this on my neck and this is a gold leaf, I think that's what it's called, you could buy it at Michaels. And then first I'm just applying my glue glitter and then I just put all of this on my neck and then after that you start spreading it and it starts, um, it, it's so thin that it'll start ripping right away and it could start becoming a little bit more textured. You just put it however you want to put it and then just apply it wherever you want to apply it. And that's it you guys, I just applied my lashes and I was done, that's all I did besides applying the glitter like I said I didn't show you guys here but I applied glitter after. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I added a little bit things here and there. I added glitter right here on my chest. I added a little bit more glitter right here because I wanted something to pop. And I added more of the foil. Um, but I feel like this is such a beautiful look for Halloween. And I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys recreate this look, tag me on Instagram because I would love to see it. I mean, I did recreate this look from another makeup artist, but I made it my own. So if you guys do exactly what I did, then I want to see what you guys do. So yeah, tag me. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, my loves.